Hello learners, I'm Mr. Salim and today uh, we'll be discussing about the importance of invertebrates. I'm sure you can recall some of the invertebrates that we have discussed about, right? I am, I'm sure you can recall some of them. One of them we say that some of the invertebrates are one insects, right? Now, one of the insects we have uh, bees, right? Now, what do we get from bees? I'm sure you know what to get from bees, right? Bees normally provide us with honey, okay? That honey that you normally use to spread on your bread or to eat whenever you feel like you want something sweet, that comes from the bee. Another one, we also have a silkworm. You know, worms are also invertebrates. Now, what do we get from silkworms? We get silk. Okay, so silkworms normally provide us with silk. I hope that's clear, yeah? Another one, we also have the flying mites, or we can also have locusts. All these are normally eaten in some communities. Some communities normally eat mites, and some normally eat locusts. In fact, they fry it as food and they eat it. So that is also as a form of food. All right, then we also have snails and also slugs. Remember we say that snails, slugs are also examples of invertebrates. So these are normally eaten also in some communities. Something really interesting. I'm sure if you go to China, then you'll find people eating like a lot of things. This is all going to be strange to you, yeah? Okay, so uh, they're normally eaten by some, you know, communities. Another one, we've talked about the bees, and we also normally have butterflies. All these are insects. Now, these ones normally helps during pollination. Normally helps during pollination. I'm sure you can recall in our first, you know, lessons, we were discussing about plants and we discussed about the, you know, how pollination takes place. So bees, butterflies, these are examples of pollinators. So in order for us to get food or fruits that we eat, then there must be what? Pollination. So pollination, after pollination, we get the reproduction and that's how fertilization and that's how we end up getting what fruits i hope that's clear yeah okay good now uh let's check another one the last one ants and also worms okay or earthworms you know what earthworms are and what ants are yeah now what they normally do is that they aerate they make the soil you know they improve the quality of soil. Improve the quality of soil. And this helps the plants to grow because this now acts as a manure which helps the plants to grow because now once they decompose, once they die, they make the soil becoming, I mean, they make the soil to become fertile and that's how the plants grow easily and you know, very fast because now the soil is fertile. I hope that's clear. Yeah. Uh, before we can leave now, I think I'll give you some questions at the end of this session so that we can now discuss and come up with you know different ideas about the invertebrates. We have talked about the invertebrates. Now I'm going to give you some questions here. Kindly work on them and make sure that you check and confirm at the end of the video if you have gotten all the questions correct. Bye-bye. I'll see you in our next lesson.